Hey guys, I'm hoping that my uh, microphone picks this up okay. The cool thing about drawing dinosaurs is that we don't really have a lot of the fossils for dinosaurs. Like there, there were probably a lot more dinosaurs than what we have fossils for. And so you can really kind of draw a dinosaur almost however you want, as long as it um, as long as it physiologically makes sense, you know, and, um, and nobody can really tell you that, you know, like a dinosaur that looked like that was never existed. You can kind of, uh, make up your own dinosaurs and I think that's uh, kind of fun. And dinosaurs, like a lot of them, looked really like according, or, or you know, like according to how their fossils um, kind of look now. Uh, it's easy to imagine a lot of them is looking really crazy, like they had horns and stuff sticking out of you know different places where you wouldn't expect them, and like. Um, Pachycephalosaurus is really cool to me. I really like that dinosaur. And it has like a big old cone thing on its head. And it, uh, they think that it would like ram heads with, you know, each other, kind of like how a deer do. And goats. Uh, this painting was kind of, kind of difficult for me. I kind of hit an art block around the time that I started this painting. I don't know why exactly it happened now, like the past couple of days, but for some reason, uh, I just had a crazy art block and I just kind of hit the wall and didn't want to, uh, didn't really feel like painting. And, uh, but I really liked, um, I really like the idea of this painting, so I painted it anyway, and I like how it turned out. I'm glad that I um, kind of just pushed through and painted even though I didn't feel like it. I don't know, um, I don't think that I'm going to finish this painting in this video because it's... I'm not quite finished with it yet, and I really just kind of want to get the video up. And, um, because I don't think I'm going to be able to for the next couple of days. I think I'm going to be pretty busy the next couple of days, so I wanted to kind of get this up today, you know. But I'm almost finished with it. I'm, I'm pretty close. I just want to go back over it again. I might let it rest overnight. I always recommend letting your paintings rest for a little while so that when you come back, you can see it, um, you can see it better. You always want to give your eyes a break from a painting and come back to it later. So I might do that. I might, um, let it rest and just come back to it later. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll have time tomorrow or maybe I'll, uh, just have to come back to it Sunday but this was this was good I think for me because I hadn't drawn a dinosaur in a long time and I really uh, had been wanting to and I just never really got around to it I drew a couple of dinosaurs like maybe a year or two ago but uh, I didn't really like how they turned out very much I like how this one is turning out much better uh, than those. I was that was back in a period where I was really kind of struggling with digital art. I really hadn't quite um, figured out how to how to do it. I think I've learned really a lot in how to how to do digital. It was really like learning an entirely new skill. I I really um, felt a lot more comfortable with just regular paint and canvas for a long time or uh, or sketches 
I've always kind of had bad art ADD. Like I would start a sketch or I would, I would do, I, I had sketchbooks piled up for, you know, a bunch of half done sketchbooks, uh, with just like t- full of unfinished sketches and drawings and paintings. And it's just, it was bad. So, uh, that was also kind of a period where I was learning how to, uh, well, not learning how to, but just kind of sticking with paintings. Like I decided that I was going to finish a lot more paintings. And uh, I think it's been, it's it's been good for me, I guess, to learn how to do digital painting. I think that it's helped... Um, maybe helped me learn not to be so, um, perfect perfectionistic, I guess, because I feel like I have a lot less control over digital painting than I do with like a pencil or a pen or a paintbrush or, um, really anything. Even back when I was learning how to use, uh, oil paint, um, when I was just first starting to learn how to use it, I felt like I had more control over that than I do over, over digital and uh, acrylic painting. Cause acrylic painting, acrylic is good. I liked acrylic a lot because it dries faster and um, it's harder to blend for me or it was, you know, back when I was learning how to use it um, than oil was, but, and, but it dried a lot faster than oil. And, um, or at least the paint that I was using. I don't know. I always use super cheap paint, uh, just cause you know, I mean, it's, it's all colors for me. I don't really care how, uh, how well the paints made very much. I liked, uh, I like picking the colors for this painting it was really important for this painting to pick, uh, colors that made sense because they had to, um, they had to really work together. And I like the contrast between the, uh, the orange and the green. Um, I like, I like orange and green together. I think the orange and green make, make a good, um, color palette. And I really like the, just the concept of this painting with the, with the super minimalistic undetailed background and, uh, just dinosaur, you know, (laughs) just, uh, just darkness and dinosaur and, and the ambient orange light in the background is really, um, I really like it. I'm still kind of playing around with, uh, the background thinking whether or not I want to, uh, maybe put a little bit more detail in it, but, um, I don't know really how detailed I want it to be. I was trying to do this painting, uh, a little faster, like, you know, not, not like a speed painting, but, um, a little faster than some of my other ones have gone lately because, uh, I thought that it was a pretty simple, it was a pretty simple painting, really. It was just a dinosaur and really simple background, but it ended up taking a little bit longer than I, uh, than I expected it to just, just me going in and, uh, putting in all this detail and stuff. I probably could have left it less detailed, but, um, I just kind of, started running with it and playing with it and uh, now it's now it's more detailed so <laughs> uh, but it's 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 turning out pretty good you can hear my chihuahua in the background growling at the other dogs I don't know why he does that I think he's I think he's growling at the big dog for I think he thought the big dog was going to try to chase the cat or something, but 
he's not. He's just laying there on the couch, so I don't get what what the Chihuahua's deal is. Get down, cat. Now the cat's climbing up on the table. It's like a zoo in here. But uh, I wanted to make sure that I got the, the silhouette of the dinosaur looking good because that was going to be an important part of this painting um, was uh, the silhouette because the background is just like black, really. And uh, in that ambient orange, so the dinosaur silhouette had to look really, really good, or it just um, well, I'm, you know, not really, really good, but uh, but it had to be pretty strong for the um, for the composition to work. Otherwise, it would just um, there wouldn't be any um, sense of depth. Because it's such a oh my gosh! Okay, y'all gotta. I'm trying to record a video. Y'all need to quit doing all that. That was the dogs. Just, just ignore it. Um, just pretend that didn't happen because I really don't want to <laughs> record this video anymore. <laughs> I tried recording this a couple other times and I just didn't like it. Uh, I ended up saying something not quite right or. You know how, like, you just really don't want to say anything online that could be misconstrued in any way at all, even if it would be, like, relatively harmless? It just kind of makes me feel a little bit... I don't know if I want to say, like, self-conscious, but I just don't want to say, you know, anything that's, you know, going to be in a video forever <laughs> that, uh, that I didn't mean to say, you know. And I and I, I don't script any of these videos. I might try scripting them uh, soon. I might like try a couple of videos scripted and just kind of play around with it to see how well it goes. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. I really like the way that the lighting uh, is turning out with this painting. I think that the kind of ambient, um, like super light blue lighting and the ambient um, orange lighting work really well. Still kind of wondering uh, if I want to try to put more details in the face or not, but I don't know. I think I might just chill and let it be, or I might, I don't know. I might get on here later and decide that I, you know, want to change a bunch of stuff. I doubt it because it's looking pretty good, but who knows, I might might jump on here and, uh, or I might look at it tomorrow morning and decide that, you know, two or three things need to change and I'll uh, change it, I guess, before I post it. I, I have such a long to-do list. I have so much stuff to do. I got a lot of work in the yard I need to do. So... And, and I'll be busy probably the next couple of days, but I'll get around to it at some point. Anyway, this video is almost over. Uh, if you like the video uh, or if you have any thoughts on it, uh, leave me a comment. I'm excited to uh, read comments. And, um, you know, I'll see you all later. Bye.